hello everyone in this video i'll show you about uh, batten column design and this is solved example problem so in the question uh, the channels placed back to back for this channel sections we need to uh, design batten column by using bolting we are going to connect these uh, batten uh, plates and uh, and the both ends are hinged the condition they given and the load is 1400 kilo newtons axial factor load and the spacing between the channels is 220 mm so for this uh, uh, problem we need to design batten plates so in this the solution is here i am choosing the design of column uh, I selected i mean uh, i choose the channel section that is ismc 350 at uh, 413 newton per meter which is available in steel tables book so i choose uh, two ismc channels so, so on the D is nothing but DRS dash that is spacing between the channels that is 220 mm. Now uh, I am going to find out the slenderness ratio KLVR that is 1.1 into already given in L value is uh, given in question that is 10 meters so 10 into 1000 and 1.1 is the K value by 13 uh, 136.6 value that is for ismc 350 which is uh, r value is 136.6 which is available in steel tables so i got 80.52 after finding the slenderness ratio distance between uh, centers of channels okay for that uh, distance we need to find out the s value s is nothing but um, spacing 220 plus 60 is the gauge distance i'll show you it in diagram have you seen this okay here this this is uh, this is the intermediate button and this is the end button for this we need to find out the spacing so c be the uh, sorry s be the center of the channels so 220 plus 60 plus 60 that is nothing but 220 means the spacing is this one 220 and the gauge distance gauge distance is nothing but from here to this bolt center that is 60 and here to here that is 60 total 220 plus 60 plus 60 okay next after uh, calculating this we need to calculate design of battens while designing battens we need to follow the IS 800 2007 specifications so that is uh, C be the spacing of the battens I mean from batten to batten how much distance we need to provide we need to know this is the C value okay from uh, this batten to this batten C so spacing between battens that is c by ryy less than 50 the condition is so ryy value is available in steel tables book for ismc channel section uh, by using this ryy value i calculate c value c in, uh, c less than 14 15 and another condition is c by ryy less than 0.7 into kl by r so by using this equation i am calculating c value after getting these two values i am selecting uh, C, uh, C is uh, I mean uh, spacing value is 1415 okay after that we are calculating transfer shear these are the design conditions which is specified in IS 800 2007 so VT is transfer shear 2.5 percent axial load so 2.5 percent means 2.5 by 100 axial load we know that uh, which is given in question 1400 kN so I got 35,000 newtons so after that uh, VB VB, VB value we need to calculate here in code book I will show you this is this VB VTC by NS along the column axis and moment we need to calculate the designs uh, specifications VTC by NS so VT value we know that 35,000 C is uh, 1415 which we selected and N is number of parallel planes that is two parallel planes and S value is 340 here we calculated that like that I calculated VT value I got this one after that moment value we need to find out so moment m equal to VTC by 2n I got this value okay after that we need to calculate size of the battens so uh, for uh, size of the battens first we need to find out effective depth of the end batten so effective depth of the end batten means this is the batten plate okay this is the effective depth and this is the overall depth overall depth means from here to here 
and effective depth means from this point to this point so from this we need to calculate effective depth by following the code uh, formulas effective depth is nothing but h dash plus 2 into c y y h dash is nothing but uh, spacing between the channels 220 plus 2 into c y y value is 24.4 which is available in uh, steel tables book for channel section ismc which we choose so i got 268.8 mm so i provided 270 mm after that overall depth overall depth formula is effective depth plus 2 into uh, gauge distance so in the gauge distance i provided uh, 35 so that equal to 340 mm for battens okay after that this is for end battens after that we need to calculate intermediate battens so intermediate battens effective depth formula is 3 by 4 times this 270 270 is nothing but an effective depth of the end batten okay this is specified by code so i got 202.5 mm i provided 210 mm after that overall depth overall depth equal to same formula 210 effective depth plus 2 into gauge distance that is 280 mm next thickness of the battens so thickness of the battens the code is specifying that 1 by 50 times into 340 340 is nothing but the value which we calculated that is the overall depth okay i got 6.8 so i am providing 8 mm thick plates after doing all these we need to check the stresses in batten plates i mean by applying the 1400 kN load how much stresses is uh, uh, applied in uh, batten plates so for, for that shear stress so shear stress formula you know that here uh, the stress value we got vb841925 by load by area 280 into 8 okay 8 mm is thickness and 280 is the length that overall depth so i got 24.05 the code is specified that it should be less than fy by root 3 into 1 by 1.1 hence it is satisfied next bending stress and bending stress formula is 6m by td square so 6 into m value already we calculated here we calculated the moment so m by t into d square t is thickness and d is that depth of that plate so 280 square so less than 272.72 which is this value hence it is okay after that we need to connect those batten plates by using bolting so i am using 20 mm bolts for that for the third portion i calculated this 0.78 pi by 4 d square already we know the area value and 400 by root 3 into 1.25 this is ultimate ultimate strength of the bolt fub value that is 400 root 3 into gamma mv sorry gamma mw that is 1.25 partial safety factor this is available in code book this formula so i got 4527 newtons so i am not calculating the bearing which is much higher so i am taking a bolt value as 45272 why because every time you are considering the least value uh, when calculating the she i mean uh, shear and be bearing obviously we will get the bearing much higher value that's why i'm not calculating so bolt value is 45272 after calculation of this uh, bolt values we need to find out the how many bolts we need to use so number of bolts required that is 17500 that is nothing but 17500 is nothing but we are having uh, the axial load i mean vt transfer shear is 35000 so we, here we are distributing the um, load equally so 35000 divided by 2 that is 17500 and the bolt value so i got 0.386 so i am providing three bolts to take into account due to stresses and bendings also okay to avoid the stresses and bendings i am providing three bolts okay instead of 0.386 i am providing three bolts so now i am going to check force in each bolt due to shear so due to shear how much force is acting on each bolt so 17500 already we know that that is the shear by three bolts so i got 5833.3 newtons after that let the pitch be pitch means nothing but bolt to bolt distance bolt center to center distance so for that i am calculating 210 by 2 that is 210 is nothing but uh, already we provided the distance that is uh, provided depth 210 so 210 by 2 that is 105 so force due to moment in extreme bolt so in extreme bolt force due to moment so i am calculating mr by sigma r square is the formula so moment already we calculated r is we know that 105 and divided by summation of r square two uh, two r's are there 105 square plus 105 square i got 58958 so after that i'm calculating resultant force 
resultant force is nothing but adding these, these two values okay we know the formula uh, f1 square plus f2 square root over so 5833.3 square plus 589.58 square so i got 592.458 which is greater than our bolt value hence it is not safe because our bolt value is 45272 but the force is uh, force acting on that bolt is 5924 hence it is not safe so that's why for safe state i am providing 5 bolts okay instead of 3 uh, bolts right now i am providing 5 bolts so for uh, same calculation i have done so in 7500 divided by 5 so i got 3500 force due to moment again i calculated the moment so here moment into 100 100 is nothing but uh, uh, actually the plate uh, the plate distance is like this i mean the arrangement of this plate uh, is like this i will show you okay if suppose this is our ismc channel here the distance the plate distance is like this so here the overall distance is the spacing of this distance is 220 okay in this we need to calculate the moment right now already calculated the moment and 100 is in this half of this i am taking 110 okay like that i am calculating 2 into r square r square is nothing but 50 means if the total distance is uh, which we provided is 270 okay and edge distance is 35 and 50 50 uh, total uh, 450s and here from edge distance is 35 from bolt to actually uh, i'm i will draw here like this bolt edge to so five bolts okay like that I'm calculating. So edge distance is 35. 35 plus 35 is 70, and 450 is 200. Total 270. So in that, I took like this: 2 into 50 square plus 100 square. That is nothing but r square. R square is nothing but here we took half of this, and the portion is like this. Okay, and this distance is uh, we are calculating and we are detecting these uh, distances. So I got 100 plus 50 square. So 2 into 50 square plus 100 square, so I got this value. Again, I calculated resultant force F1 square plus F2 square. So I, again, I got 49648 newtons, which is less than 45272. Hence, it is also not safe. Why? Because our bolt value is 45272, but our force is more than the bolt value. Hence, it is not safe. Then we need to revise the section. So here we need not to revise the section. Just we need to change this value. Actually, we provided the spacing of the button C is fourteen fifteen. Instead of this value, if we reduce this value automatically, you will get the strength value. Okay. If you took C equal to twelve hundred, again uh, you replace the fourteen fifteen fourteen fifteen value with twelve hundred, you will get the uh, lesser value for this. Okay. Like that, you need to design the button column problem. Okay, uh, I mean uh, while de designing these lacings and battens, you need to follow IS eight hundred two thousand specifications. If you are familiar with IS eight hundred two thousand seven code book, it is easy to solve the problems. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.